So many feet. So many shoes. I'm trying to measure your foot. Can you tell just from this that these are dancing feet? Depends. Some of us love a shoe shop, of course, but for others it can be a bit of a drag, a reminder of buying a new pair for school. If only there was a bit more colour and pizzazz to the whole shoe experience. Yeah. Teacher, teacher, teach the children, teach them how to spell R-A-T-R-A-T. Stone me. It's only reggae great Dennis Al Capone. Look at that, look at that. You got to learn that. Yeah! You got to graduate before you come to the gate. Ding a ling, ding a ling. Dennis, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Dennis has long been a natty dresser, as evidenced by this picture for his LP Guns Don't Argue. And that goes for his footwear too. Not bragging and boasting, but Jamaicans are trendsetters. We are fashion conscious. From I was a little boy growing up, it was always clacks. If you're not wearing a clacks, then you're not saying nothing. They seem to fit perfectly. Mm, they look nice. Mm, she looks like a proper little princess. This little foot. Hang on a minute. Are we talking about the same clerks? The perfectly good, but how to say it, intensely practical things that our mums pushed us into. These are our shoes. Clarks me prefer. Clarks for the leather, yeah. Clarks for the fur. Clarks for the summer. Clarks for the winter. Clarks. Dear and long-suffering viewer, we are. Here's Jamaican dancehall king Vibes Cartel and friends celebrating his preferred accessory. And by the way, good to see some proper regard for shoe maintenance. In the Caribbean, it turns out, the unassuming lace-up and the ankle-length boot are the footwear of choice, beloved of the biggest names on the reggae scene. I have fallen in my closet, a clocks, you see. More than any other shoes, you see me? We have other shoes, but a clocks are the, are the ultimate. Right now, my clocks are there side of me. Live and direct treat. <laughs> Of course, other brands of shoes, and I can't stress this too strongly, are also available. But why are Clarks so on trend in Jamaica? A London-based DJ has gone in search of answers. Clarks are from England, and Jamaican people generally, especially in the past, I would say, loved things that were, came from England or were made in England because they were made to a certain quality. If a Jamaican was coming to England, the number one thing that they would be asked to bring back would be Clarks and, and then string vests as the second thing. Well, there's your follow-up book right there. <laughs> <laughs> Strip this story back to its roots and you're left with utter cobblers. Cyrus and James Clark and their family, who founded the titular business in the 19th century. What on earth do you think they'd make of these uh, reggae guys loafing about in their shoes in the Caribbean? I think they'd not really be surprised. I think uh, Nathan Clark, who invented the desert boot, he actually thought that they were popular because they were naturally good looking in a rugged way. I don't think they'd be surprised that those sort of things that are valued in Jamaica have made them a really popular style out there. While Popcorn relaxes on the set of his latest video in Jamaica, it's important to point out that this story isn't entirely sunny. One of his former collaborators is facing a murder charge. But then even the highly reputable Clarks has found itself linked to a slightly dubious history. In Jamaican dance halls, police once picked on young men wearing the shoes. And they asked all people with Clark's boot to go one side and people with other shoes to step the other side. Why was that? Because 
Only rude boys wear clacks. The rude boys. That's how they have it, yeah. A rude boys is mainly a street boy. Rude boys is people that love to dress good. Any means necessary. But they might be a little bit... Well, some of them might be in trouble with the law, shall we say? Yes, well, there's different dimension. So what they started doing, they started beating... <laughs> They started beating the, the boys with the clerks because they said they are rude boys. No such trouble for Dennis Al Capone at the dance hall these days, where he's swagging the acme of menswear from head to toe. By the way, if you'd like to see this item again, it's available on the BBC's I and I player. When I'm going out to the dances, gotta be stepping in my clerk's boot. <laughs> Yeah.